on our wall in our bedroom, Cecily in my bedroom, there's a, I guess a pledge that we signed together when we got married. We have, it, have had it up on our wall for, what, 26 years now. And at the bottom of this pledge, we have a verse from Psalm 37. Psalm 37 verse 4, I'm sure you're familiar with it. Delight yourselves in the Lord, and he will grant you the desires of your heart. And the idea behind that, of course, is, well, look to God first in everything. Before you start wishing for everything, look to God first, and he will grant you what you actually need. So that's been a real powerful verse for Cecily and I in our married life. And in my devotions at home in lockdown, I've come to Psalm 37. And uh, just before Psalm 37 verse 4, there's another really wonderful verse. But it actually can be read in two different ways, I discovered this week. So let me share them with you because either way, they are a really great promise from God. Now, if you open up your Bible, if you've got your NIV Bible, it says this, and let me read it. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. That's lovely, isn't it? It really has much the same meaning behind it as Psalm 37 verse four. That is, put your trust in God first, do good, dwell in the land he has given you, and enjoy safe pasture. So rest in the security of God for your life. And that's a great thing to take away in our devotion time, isn't it? If you're reading Psalm 37. Now, I actually have, and sorry, and sorry, I just had to go get it. I have, uh, wait a minute, <laughs> there it is this Bible at the moment. Um, the only reason I have it is that it's got really big letters so I can see them more clearly and it has pictures in it. That's the kind of guy I am. There you go. But it's actually a slightly different translation. Um, it's the ESV they call it, not the NIV. Well, it is what it is. And I was realizing that it translates Psalm 37 verse 3 just slightly differently. The word that's used to um, talk about enjoy safe pasture can be read in two different ways. So listen to how my Bible has translated this. In verse 3, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. It's a bit different, isn't it? It's not enjoy safe pasture, it's befriend faithfulness. So when I read that in my personal quiet time with God last week, I just thought that was the most wonderful thing I've heard for ages, befriend faithfulness. Such a lovely way to describe following God because everything we do with God is relational, isn't it? And so in our daily lives, the Psalm writer is saying, well, you know, dwell in the land God's given you, be secure in that, and also befriend faithfulness. Make faithfulness in God your, you know, your friend, so to speak. Obviously, we're making God our friend, but that whole process of faithfulness in God and, you know, being disciplined, being devoted to prayer, all those things, just put in this lovely expression, befriend faithfulness. So, friends today, can I encourage you as you dwell in the land God has given you and in the house God has given you to befriend faithfulness in him. God bless everyone.